this lesson, we're going to learn more about drawing eyes from the side view. Now, although it might look like a whole entire different beast of a thing that we're drawing here, it is the exact same form that we learned from the front view. And so if you want to keep in mind, you know, the eye is a sphere. And what happens to a sphere, you know, when you view it, let's say, sideways? Well, a sphere doesn't really change, right? That is, a sphere, um, unlike let's say a disc, if you have a disc like this and you start to turn the disc sideways, the disc starts to get more like this, right? Now there is a kind of disc on the eye and that does get foreshortened. But the, a sphere itself, as you turn it around, just always looks the same, right? Like a ball, you spin it around, it doesn't foreshorten like a disc does. Take a, a coin, let's say this is the ground, and you set the coin on the ground. As you spin it around, it starts to get foreshortened, right? And it keeps getting foreshortened until eventually all you see is the side of the coin like that. These are things to keep in mind when thinking about the eyeball. Now the eyeball still sits into the side of the socket here. So you have this kind of, um, imagine you have the eye and the eye is this like round object here. Now on the edge of that object, you have your part of your lens. Now this lens does get foreshortened from the side view, like so. That would be the lens of the eye. Now you have flesh that covers part of this eye, and that flesh being your, your eyelash, right? And so your eyelash is going to come like this, let's say, usually covers part of the pupil. And what's important to understand here about the eyelash is it's wrapping all the way around the eye still. So when we have this front view of the eye here and you have your eyelash come up like this and it covers the eyeball, right, and you have part of the eye here being covered, what's important to understand is that this is on a sphere, it's not on a flat plane, and so it's wrapping around each side here. And as it wraps around, you're, if you turn the eye sideways, then you begin to see different angles of that, of that view. I'll show you in a 3D program so it makes more sense as well. And so you have the lashes here that come, they're coming all the way around the other side of the eye, right? You have lashes that are coming out here and lashes that are coming out over here. And so we're viewing it from the side view as it's turned away from us. And so some of those lashes are still on the other side of the eye and they're kind of being seen from this view. And you have these lashes that come and over, come over those lashes. Right? So you end up getting something kind of like that. And some of these lashes will still come down like this. They'll even come all the way inside. This would be if you're drawing like realistically. And it's good to understand, I think, how it looks more realistically so that way it's it makes it maybe a little bit easier to know what it is you're foreshortening, uh, what it is you're doing, what it is you're simplifying in comics. Now the eyelash here comes to this eye wrinkle. Now this is like where the eye begins to hide your whole entire lid begins to hide up into, like behind the fold of flesh there. And it kind of comes up like this, and it kind of comes around, and it wraps around like this. It's going around, and then this eyelid is going up into that area. That's the way I like to see it, this like fold of skin. Sometimes you have a wrinkle right here. And then you have the eyebrow, which actually starts more like here. This is, you know, think about it more realistically, and comes up and around like this. Now there's this fatty tissue that exists in this area all right here. This is all the fatty tissue that you see from the front view right there. And so that, that usually kind of puffs out like this a little bit. There's a way to kind of see that fleshy area. We'll start to erase some of this here. Now finally you have the bottom lid which comes here and it usually comes right to the bottom of the eye there where you have the iris part of the eye. And once again you have the eyelashes are wrapping all the way around the eye and so you see some of those and then you see some of these lashes that come in the front. So it's wrapping around the other side of the eye that we can't see and we were seeing some of those eyelashes poking through. Now you have this bottom lid, and the bottom lid comes off right here like this. And that also, the eyes continues to wrap around this lid right here. 
and this comes down right here. Now this is something you don't really want to emphasize um, if you want the female to look pretty. But if for whatever reason you wanted to, you wanted to look more different for some for something like I don't know maybe maybe she's a crackhead in your comic or something like that you might you might show that. Now I know that looks very odd and weird, but that's the way to think about the eye uh, from the side view. Now if we take that concept now, we're like okay, so we know that we're going to see this kind of shape here, and this lid is going to wrap around like this. Or this is if the eyes open, that lid's going to wrap around. Eyelids and come up here like this. And it's going to disappear into this fold of skin like that. And you have the eyelashes coming off of that piece of skin there. See, and they're coming off of this skin right here. So I'm just kind of redrawing it really fast to get an idea. And you have that little piece of skin right here, right? That's the basic idea of the eye. And sometimes you'll see a little bit of skin like that. So sometimes actually I'll draw that into my eye. Now when the eye closes, the whole lid, this is where the eyelid's coming out of, comes down like this from the side view. And now you see the lashes coming from the other side of the eye, and they're wrapping all the way around to this part of the eye here. Right, so that's when the eye is closed. And oftentimes when the eye closes, this line right here obviously gets stretched out because that's the line, it's kind of like tucking and folding under. But when the eye is open like this, that line sort of disappears. You might get a slight look like that right there. Um, you'll see there's a little bit of, of this, not much though. And that's with the eyes closed. Um, sometimes, you know, the lashes will look different. Let's say if they put a lot of makeup on, they might, the lashes kind of come forward and are shaped like this. So it's like the, the basic shape is right here. So if you wanted just to draw a solid shape and simplify it, it would be like that. And so maybe some lashes from over that side kind of wrapped around the form. Right, so there you have an eye that's closed. Understanding, I think, how the eye is open and closed, and sometimes you might be able to see just a little bit of that piece of skin right there, that lower lid. Again, I don't recommend really drawing the lower lid when you're drawing comics, you're trying to make things look beautiful. But understanding, you know, seeing the eye open and seeing the eye closed kind of helps understand a little more about the mechanics of it. Let's go and look at the eye really fast here in a 3D program to help solidify this concept of why the eye looks so much different in the side view as it does in the front view. This will be uh, Daz Studio Pro and it's a free program. All right, so first we're gonna look at a quick rendering of, of the eye from three fourths view, or excuse me, from the side view. So this is the rendering and you can see that um, how the eyelashes go around. It's a little bit easier to see now. We're gonna now view it in actual real time here as we spin our head around. And we'll go ahead and select the character model and general. We're just going to rotate like this. So when she's in this front view, now don't mind the fact that the lighting looks kind of weird right now um, in this you know, preview mode. That's why, I, that's why I want to show you a render mode really fast. As we move the eye or the whole entire head to the side, look what happens to the eye. See, it starts to get foreshortened here and see how these the lashes that were on this side of the eye are starting to go away from us, but we can still see them, but they're foreshortened. And as we get to this profile view of the eye, you can see how the lashes and stuff are there. Let's go look at the rendering here. And so as you can see, the eye kind of, you know, right here you have that curvature and then you have this lid, it, go, it wraps around the eye to the other side. So it's going all the way around to the other side and that's where those lashes are coming from. So I'm going to kind of like draw that and kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So when you have the eye here, and you have that lid, that lid is actually going all the way around to the other side over here. Imagine that going all the way around. There's still lashes that are just as long coming off that lid, but you don't see them as much because they're being covered by the eye here, right? 
It's a type of foreshortening. And as they come forward, you can see more and more of the lashes like so. But what we end up seeing is just a couple of those lashes from the other side. And then we see these lashes coming in the front view like that. Hopefully that makes sense. Finally, just some uh, tricks here that some people use when they're drawing their, their comics. So one thing I've noticed that comic artists like to do, and I like to do this sometimes too, is, is do things that's really unrealistic with the eye. So they'll, they'll actually make makeup on this side of the eye here, even though typically we wouldn't see these lashes at all, especially from this side view. And they kind of just make this, you know, all kind of like really thick right here. And then sometimes they'll even you know, make this lash right here just come out really thick like that. And you'll get an eye that kind of maybe resembles something like this. Now it looks pretty and cool, so even though it's not technically accurate, it looks neat. So th there's things you can play with. Don't always stick to realism. Think about ways that you can make things look cool. Because that's what comics are all about. Comics are all about, hey, how can I make my character look cool? In this case, how can I make her look cool and make her look pretty? And uh, I think someone that was famous for doing this was um, the pencilist artist for Fathom, the comic books Fathom. He um, has passed away. I believe it was um, Mike Turner. But yeah, just a great over all, all over um, pencilist for for for, the, for that comic, and also Aspen. So check out if you really like that kind of look. Um, at least give his, his work a look because it's really really interesting. The way he handles the female. I find very intriguing. It's it's really stylistic and it's his own style, but he really just adds something really cool and he's really influenced my, my eyebrows a lot, um, but yeah. Okay, so thank you for watching and really there's no need for a video for this exercise. The exercise would be pretty simple. Just go ahead and draw some eyes from the side view. So that's it. All right, thank you for watching.